This is Shuji Umehara, as ECM Technical Support Engineer. In this time, I will explain how to install and configure IBM Cloud Pack for Automation FileNet Content Manager Container. Version is 20.02, and the installation purpose is for demonstration. And uh, in this session, uh, all of the component is installed all in one Red Hat VR. In this session, uh, it consists of two parts. One part is a uh, prepare Kubernetes environment. Second part is Pilot Content Manager Container installation in this OCP. As a Kubernetes environment, uh, in this session, 3.11 is configured in all-in-one Red Hat VM. And any server is also configured. And second part, Fernet uh, container is installed. In for your information, in demonstration purpose installation, directory service and database will be also installed, configured as a container of LDAP Open LDAP and PB2 Universe automatically. When you configure production, it's needed to be configured so that the on premise product. Therefore, therefore by preparing one Red Hat VM, you can experience FileNet Container Content Manager Container of ICM O. At first, I will explain about resource. In this time, uh, Red Hat version 7.7 .7 is pre prepared, and core is 16, memory is 32 gigabytes, and disk is 100 gigabytes. And uh, as a network, network requirement, we need internet connection outbound only. And next, as an install package for icp 4 n it can be referred to this site. This site listed uh, many packages, but for Hyrule Content Manager container installation, it only needed, to, needed this three packages. And for your information, ICP4A license also includes Red Hat OS and OpenShift license, so you don't need to worry about such a license. <clears throat> I will explain uh, how to configure OpenShift Container Platform 3.11. As a first you need a uh, user at the uh, Red Hat con uh, customer portal in advance and uh, register your sub sub subscription for OpenShift container platform. And then uh, register your VIA for subscription by subscription manager. I will uh, also describe uh, each command here. And activate OpenShift and Ansible 2.6 in the repository. It's a this part. And the prepare package uh, install the uh, each uh, needed package volume and activate network manager and start Docker and let open uh, SE Linux as enforce and NFSS server start and set an SSH key. It's a this part. And then finally, uh, kick the uh, installation. At first, uh, you have to prepare etc Ansible host file and then execute the request command uh, script and then finally, deploy cluster script.
this is a uh, etc archival host file. You can use this as it is. And then uh, this part is each installation script. Pre-request uh, pre script is uh, will take um, around 10 minutes, and the deployment script will take uh, about uh, around 30 minutes. So uh, around uh, one hour, uh, you can complete the uh, installation and the configure of OpenShift 3.11 in all in one VM. And uh, after post, uh, post, uh, the post inst installation work, uh, there are two actions it's needed. Uh, it is needed for a file that content manager container installation. One is a creator uh, user. File net content manager container installation is needed uh, at least one user, and uh, needed to the auto deployment production storage class. You can uh, create uh, uh, each constant volume by manual, but it, it's easy to uh, use the uh, uh, NFS auto production storage class. Post preparation. You can use this command, but it is about uh, and the interface auto provision straight grass. Uh, it is described in detail in this site. Now, well, it's ready to use OpenShift Container Platform 3.11 for Pilot Content Manager. Thanks.